Okay, this is just single phase measurements against resistive load. We had, didn't have much success with the fluorescent lamp. The watt meter didn't really display much, so we couldn't measure it. So I've gone back to a single phase resistive heater. I'm using uh, the blue phase um, from the supply going into the ammeter supply um, and then back to the load, and it's coming out of this socket here. I'm using the voltage across to the neutral connection on here. and. I've set on 10 amps here and uh, 500 volts, which is what we expect because this will draw more than 5 amps. If I put it onto 5 amps and switch on for a minute, you'll see that we get a display that doesn't go off the end, but we do get the overload light coming on. So I'm going to put it onto the 10 amp display. Here we can measure pretty much 0.4. It might be a fraction over it, but we should call it 0.4. We multiply that by 10 and then by 500. That comes out at about just a fraction over 2 kilowatts. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to switch it off to make the connections because I don't have the appropriate leads for this meter at the moment, is I'm going to measure the voltage across the supply and the current in series of the load. So if I put my meter between the blue and the neutral, and I'll also put the clip-on ammeter onto AC and put that in series with this supply, and then we'll switch on and see what we get and multiply those two figures together. So we're getting there about 240 volts and 8. Point, well this keeps diminishing at the moment. It's steadying about 8.81 amps. Just calculate that. 240 times 8.81. 2114. Watts. So fairly similar to what the watt meter um, displayed. Unfortunately, the watt meter's uh, reading that dial is a little bit inaccurate, so it's not quite as easy to get an exact figure from it.